fella. We can be that mistake. Let's do this. You want to do? What's up, y'all? Hey. We are Embracing Sec 21. Yes, we are. I'm Spencer. And I'm Daniel. We're coming at you with Would I Lie to You from Jimmy Carr. <laughs> so this was highly requested. Uh, requested from one of our people in our, our live chat. Yeah. Um, gave us a nice little super chat to, to do this one. With Donkey Kong coins. <laughs> or, or Danish coins or whatever. Oh, Denmark? Yeah. I, I can't remember. Oh, no. it had we're, we're dumb Americans. It's what, yeah. it's what we are. DKK, Donkey Kong coins with a K. Yeah, but... Uh, but hey, we love us some Jimmy Carr on here. We've yeah. tried to do some reactions from him. Like I think two of them got blocked, right? Two of them got blocked. Only and... one Jimmy Carr compilation got through, and it wasn't because it was Jimmy Carr. Right, right. It was the 10 most, most offensive, offensive jokes, jokes. Which was when we were starting our Twitch yeah. days. And that's the only video that's blown yeah. up since then, right? Right, right, right. No, it's weird. But <laughs> hopefully this one goes through, and if not, like, Excuse me, you're probably all you're watching it on Patreon. And for that, we thank you. Yeah. Either way, we thank you. Let's go. Let's do it. How did you inflate it? With a vacuum cleaner put on blow. So you blew it up with a vacuum cleaner. Do they have cleaner. blow function? I don't know. <laughs> Does he do the vacuuming very often? God, no. No, no. I, I don't know. I'd have to ask my people, but I imagine someone does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen three grown men who've never picked up a vacuum. Oh, I have picked one up. Oh, I picked one up, yeah, but not for vacuuming. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How quickly can you do Ooh, right out the gate. Right out the gate. Yeah. Uh, uh, wasn't it like that with the 10 most offensive jokes? Yeah. He yeah. had the, the joke, he was like, we're not even like 30 seconds into this thing. Whew. Yeah, he's too sharp, man. Mm hmm. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. Pint. I can drink a pint in six seconds. Six seconds? Yes. How quick was Ray? Seven seconds. Thank God you said a number bigger. <laughs> <laughs> and how long had Ray held the record? Three years. And how much less a man do you think he felt? It was a tough phone call because I had to call him to tell him that his record had gone. So you just did this at home, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I've had another one, Ray. <laughs> Sorry. I'm really getting through it no, tonight. Ray... If you're drunk, why do you turn northern, Jimmy? <laughs> because of the alcohol. All oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't mind. When I'm trying to fiddle the government, I always put on Jimmy's voice. <laughs> 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 I lost my virginity. Right, right, because northerners are typically more poor and the southerners are more rich. At least that's yeah. what I've what? gathered. What a uh, 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 complete difference here. Yeah, yeah, the northerners are the rich ones in the U.S. and the southerners are the poor ones. Historically. Historically, yeah. Depends on where you are, but, you know. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, okay, where was I? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I lost my virginity at 26. Oh, that's true. I could, could, yeah, we could, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, we are. We are. We are. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay, we can. We can. True. Yeah. Okay, is it true? true? Yeah. Uh, well, no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> Ah, no, 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 seriously. Yeah, yeah. For, for, for the sake of, you know, decency, go on, tell us all about it. Uh, yeah. Well, I was very religious growing up. Very religious until I was about 26. And then, <laughs> and then I was right. all about the poon tang. <laughs> <laughs> David, do you believe this? Yeah, I'm buying it. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, the rest That's what of he said, team. actually. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So, Jimmy, could you uh, reveal the truth, please? I can indeed. No shame in that. It, it is true. absolutely true. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Yes, it's true. Uh, Jimmy did lose his virginity at the age of 26. Also, coincidentally, it was the day that he discovered he could make people laugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I had an interview at MI5 to be a spy. <laughs> no way. No. Uh, where's MI5, Jimmy? Where's MI5? Yeah. Well, it was, it's on the South Bank now, but that building wasn't finished at the time. 
So it was a meeting in Millbank. What was it? Like a planning meeting to join MI5? <laughs> like a planning? No, I wasn't going to be. I wasn't <laughs> like going to build the, a new the headquarters. Fact the building wasn't finished. We're thinking of setting up a big organisation of spies. <laughs> well, you know, with <laughs> guns and handcuffs <laughs> and itching powder. We don't know how we're going to use that, but it's all fun. And we're building a huge, crazy building on the South Bank, which is actually MI6. But never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say I'm worried now that you know a bit much about it and you really <laughs> do seem like a spy? I know, because you're, yeah. you're posh and a tiny bit gay, even though you're not. <laughs> <laughs> well, hang on, David. I'll stop you there. Posh and a little bit gay. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, man? This is like Spartacus. No, I'm posh and a little bit gay. <laughs> <laughs> you're the least posh and a little bit gay of anyone in the world ever, Lee. Yeah. Fuck off, you pup. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. Um, Jimmy, how, does, how do you get approached? How did you get approached for this uh, I got approached by uh, an English tutor at uh, Cambridge, and this guy, uh, McKendrick, approached me and said, would you be interested? Kendrick? In McKendrick. 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 Or M, for short. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant it was John McCurick approached <laughs> <laughs> He'd be a really bad spy. <laughs> I'd say kill him when you get the chance! <laughs> If I'm right about you, you were, a, you were a virgin until you were about 27, as far as I remember. 26. 26. And that was the last series of this show. So Shall we not bring it up again? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. This was your opportunity to pull. Jimmy, how much are we going to be paid for it? Uh, I, I don't think... We'll get paid no... in, in sticky buns, Maureen. <laughs> <laughs> sticky bun for every kill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Would, you, would you have been sent abroad? Well, don't you start. I'm having enough trouble with them. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even in this. Show. What are you talking about? <laughs> Jimmy, your, your, your attitude under interrogation is just a bit churlish, which, as a spy, it really shouldn't be, you know. <laughs> the other interrogator starts asking questions and you go, are you in this? <laughs> <laughs> was this during the Cold War? Yeah, I'm 50. <laughs> <laughs> you might be. Your hair's dyed. So... <laughs> 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 Tips from the tramp. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, girls. Um, was there a practical side to the interview? Did you have to? <laughs> yeah, I had to fuck a girl in a speedboat. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, David Mitchell, uh, what are you thinking as team captain? I think it's not true. Okay, I, well, I, I'm, I'm torn, but both of my. Teammates think it's not true. You're we'll tending with, towards. We'll go with that. That's a lie. Okay, they're saying it's a lie. Jimmy, is that the truth? It's a lie. Can I just say, you made that really hard for yourself. It says I once had an interview at MFI. <laughs> 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 Terry, oh, what is man. Steve T? Man, these Brits—they know how to take the oh, piss man. out of each other. Yeah. <laughs> But Jimmy's got a hell of a poker face. He does. He does. And it's a very long one, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's just because of the years of childhood abuse. Yeah. <laughs> you. Uh, this is my mate, Steve, and uh, we were actually questioned by police who mistook us both for jewel thieves. <laughs> right? That sounds incredibly plausible. Uh, Lee, <laughs> perhaps you'd like to explain how you know Steve. This is Steve. We own a greyhound together that's come last in every race. <laughs> and finally, Jimmy, what's your connection with uh, Steve? Uh, this is Steve. We were at primary school together. I didn't see each other for 20 years and then uh, met up in a hotel when he bought me room service. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we are. You call it room service. David's team, maybe I'll start. I think you're all claiming to be friends with him. I want to see, like, a real connection. So if you could all just give him a hug, I want to see if there's a, you know... <laughs> you want to see if I hug this man like I own a greyhound with him. No, no, no. If he's your friend, if you own something with him... That's it. OK. This is how we hug. We've got that issue usually. Hey! How are you, little fella? Hey, hey, get off. Come and get off with him. That's how we hug. He's my mate alone. Hey, look, mate. All right, darling. <laughs> <laughs> you just turn around. Yeah, sure. <laughs> 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 uh, which, uh, which hotel was this, Jimmy, where... Uh... Uh, it was the Lowry in Manchester. The Lowry. That is a hotel in that Manchester. That is a hotel in Manchester, yes. yes. Yeah. He's the night duty manager there. 
So he's, you know, he's... You know. He knew you were staying in the hotel and brought your room service up in order to renew to your acquaintance. Yes, and yes. I recognised him immediately and, you know... And did you go, oh, my God, Steve? Yeah, I, I mean, he really hasn't changed that much. <laughs> have, you, have you remained friends with him since that? Yeah, I stay in the same hotel quite a lot when, whenever Oh, I'm... so you only see him when he comes to the, no, when I you literally, go to the uh, hotel? Yeah. Well, that's fine. Well, he lives that's in Manchester, I live in London, so we see each other. He's not your friend, then. What do you want me to do, take him to the zoo? No, no, no. <laughs> You think it's Jimmy? I think it's Greyhound. I think I'm edging towards Jimmy because I Jimmy. think Jimmy looked a little bit put upon when when you were sort of having a go at what you know what a essentially bad friend he is. <laughs> <laughs> You're very much well for a quick sandwich in a hotel bar, but you know I've got gigs and stuff, yeah. so. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Catch you next time. I'm passing through town. So David, time um, to decide. <laughs> Well, I think we'll go with the majority decision, which is that we think it's, saying it's, it's Jimmy. Jimmy. OK, well, Steve, uh, would you like to reveal your true identity? Yeah, the truth is uh, me and Terry were mistaken as jewel thieves. <laughs> uh, I starred in a Japanese commercial for Snuff. Is Snuff a big thing in Japan? Because it's sort of slightly peaked in the West, I think. <laughs> level of popularity. They're making commercials for it still, so I'm guessing bigger, but right. no idea. What was the slogan? I have no idea. I just read autocue phonetically. I mean, I could have declared war for all I know. <laughs> I imagine I said, buy Snuff. I said something like, you can have too, too much of a good thing, I think was the slogan. It was something like that. Because right. it was a guy doing a line of snuff. <laughs> Like, like a massive line of snuff, and then his face, like, he did it for real, and like his face kind of ludicrously kind of... So their <laughs> slogan for selling snuff involved saying, don't have that much of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's advertising whiskey with someone dying of alcoholism. And then saying, a little bit is tasty, but so, yeah, it killed this <laughs> Why did they choose you to be the Because I've got my TV show, uh, the distraction show that I did on Channel 4, and the American one goes out in Japan. And it's quite big, because it's like endurance, but it's with Westerners being hurt, and they love that. He looks that. almost Japanese. I look almost Japanese. You look... <laughs> <laughs> that is the acceptable face of racism. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you still in two minds, or Amen. three or thoughts? four? He was very convincing. Unless the production crew are mental, we'll be seeing it in about a minute. That's... Oh, he's, he's threatening a clip. <laughs> I imagine. So, is there any truth in this? I, I think it's a lie. I think it's that a lie. That bit makes me think it's a lie. The clip, the clip, clip was clip. just oh, too strong, yeah. yeah. Jimmy. So, you're veering towards lie. untruth. Lie. 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 Okay, lie. the truth, Jimmy? I can tell you it's a lie. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> What's the stadium called again? I don't know what oh, the stadium's called. Oh, but seriously, know... Jimmy. You really oh, are one of the lads, oh, aren't you, Jimmy? Old, <laughs> I know it's Old Trafford, but hasn't they, haven't they got some bullshit name for it as well? Theatre no. of Dreams, yeah. Theatre of Dreams, that's it. That's the funny one. <laughs> it's like, it might as well be the Ballet of the Imagination. It's such a <laughs> bullshit name for a stadium. The Theatre of Dreams. <laughs> what dreams? I dreamt I kicked a ball. <laughs> Simon Groom and Peter Duncan once had a fight in the Blue Peter Garden after a row over a BBC parking space. Now, what, why did they choose the Blue Peter Garden? They were in the garden filming a bit and they had a fight. They were filming a bit. The parking had pretty nearly happened earlier. Yep. And they filmed it. Well, how did the parking anger reassert itself? They, they were fighting over parking spaces. It's all right. I've got this, Angus. Leave it. It's quite rare. <laughs> it's not like the, the... I can handle this. But uh, this is what I don't understand. There's been the an show. argument about the parking spaces. They're filming the piece in the garden. Why does the fight start there? So, so imagine you're the having a disagreement was... with someone. You're having a disagreement. I've never disagreed with anyone, but okay, I can imagine. Well, you're disagreeing with me right now. So <laughs> this is what it's like. No, it's just you know. We're... <laughs> We, we both mean the same thing. It's just you don't realise it yet. <laughs> I think in fairness to them, it says it's about a parking space, but clearly they didn't get on with each other. The rumours were that Simon was slightly jealous of, of Peter. Maybe they actually really did get on deep down. There was a lot of love there. And but a lot of love and complicated <laughs> feelings and tears and hate and they start fighting. And just to touch, <laughs> to touch another human. And then the fighting starts getting a bit of amorous and, you know, and then they're oh, fighting, oh, they're fighting, they're fighting scratching their clothes off each other. And then they fall in the pond and it's all fine and there's no sex. <laughs> Never have happened shit. in GMTV. We didn't have a garden to f***ing fight in. That was. <laughs> oh my God! Sorry, did you say to f***ing and fight in? <laughs> <laughs> David, what's your answer? Can you Jinx imagine? Two? 
Well, knowing presenters, I think it's very true. Yeah. <laughs> I, think it's a, I think it's a no. I think it's, I think it's a lie. We're going for You're lie. You're going for lie? Yeah. Okay, Jimmy, truth Jamie. or lie? I can tell you that it is Ooh. a lie. Uh, yeah. Ooh, two, two, three, three. Yeah. yeah. Of course it's a lie. Have you ever fought over a parking space like that? No. Oh, my God, I've wanted to. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's like it's like the Seinfeld episode. It's like whether you know uh, debating whether it, it it you back in or you go in forward. <clears throat> well, you back in if you're a pro. Yeah, you you can you can time it and assert dominance early. Yeah, uh, in the queue or in the line as we call it out here, uh, and you can back in. Turning in is is a quicker way to do it. Yeah. Now, there are many times where people can't back in properly and the turning guy will get it. Yeah, yeah. But and then, those guys need to be drop kicked in the dick. Yeah. <laughs> like, I hate them. 100%. 100%. I hate them. Mm. Uh, so, Richard, what is Della to you? Uh, this is Della, and Della and I danced on my dancer size fitness video. <laughs> okay, Lee, perhaps you'd like to explain how you know Della. This is Della, uh, the estate agent who accidentally locked me in a house after a viewing. Right. And finally, Jimmy, your relationship this with... This is Della, and she is Della. my chiropodist. Right. What? So there you have it. A uh, dancer-sized partner to Richard, a forgetful estate agent, if we believe Lee, or a chiropodist uh, to the stars, or at least Jimmy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so what's wrong with your feet, Jimmy? Uh, I pronate. I beg your pardon? <laughs> I, pro I pronate. I've got extraordinarily flat feet, uh, so I have to wear orthotics and I get kind of weird what? bunions. Speak properly. <laughs> orthotics? Ortho I get, I've got these little builds in my shoes, so I've got these little things that I have to wear in my shoes, otherwise my Achilles tendons kind of give out. It's a weird kind of... I've got weird bunions, yeah. Whoa, you know all the chat-up lines, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got some weird bunions, baby. Yeah. <laughs> what does she do for you? She, she makes those little things for my feet, and then she kind of... I get very rough skin, because I have to wear these things, and then she kind of deals with that. I'm a bit confused by the fact that Della here not only makes your orthotics, but also rubs your rough bits. <laughs> As in chiropodist. So, which is she? Well, she's both. She's got a uh, chiropody... Uh, I guess some sort of qualification. There's something on the wall. She was in the Yellow Pages. Right. I'm guessing she's qualified. <laughs> and, and is that how you came across her, through the Yellow Pages, or did someone recommend her? I got a recommendation from... Right. I, all right, I got a recommendation from Simon Cowell off of The X Factor. So you got a recommendation from Simon Cowell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we were on... Uh, uh, Simon and I were on holiday together. So you're on holiday with Simon... Not Every with him. We, we were in the same hotel. We weren't, we weren't arm in arm. Where? Uh, Barbados, Sandy Lane. Well, how often do you have this done with Della? It's maybe once a year. Does it set you back a little bit? No, it's not, not too bad. No, I'm doing very well, thanks. Oh, good. <laughs> Della, I have to say, is, is attractive, and I hate to think of her near Jimmy Carl's feet. <laughs> Jimmy has definitely got something dodgy in his shoe there, and it, <laughs> you know, as well as his, his foot. <laughs> you, you, you going with, I'll still go with Lee, Lee and you're going with Jimmy. Okay, you decide. I'm going to, I think it's Jimmy. OK, you're saying it's Jimmy. Well, yeah. perhaps Della would like to reveal her own identity. Um, I dance with Richard in his... <laughs> <laughs> Prince Philip told me I was a funny-looking fellow when I was a ball boy at Wimbledon. <laughs> David's team. <laughs> what, uh, what year was this? Oh, I was about 12 or 13, about 84, maybe? Something like that, ages ago. How did you get into being a ball boy? How did I get into it? Well, I just psyched myself up. <laughs> How does the system of oh, selecting was in, all boys work? And I was in a tennis manage? club uh, in my sort of local village, and I used to play tennis. And there was a, uh, a lottery thing, and you could go along, and two people from every tennis club went along. Yeah, I, I thought they were from sort of schools around the Wimbledon area. That's what I thought. Where were you at school, Jimmy? The Wimbledon area. It <laughs> <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and you were lined up, all the ball boys and ball girls. Yeah, it was after the, the women's final. Everyone's lined up, like who, hundreds which, of us. Which final? Who, who, who had played? It was years ago. It was the Ivan Lendl kind of era. She, he's woman. unlikely to make the women's final. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, who was um, Prince Philip there with? 
I think it's the Duke and Duchess of Kent or something. I don't really know the royals well, that well. Well, that's the thing. It's usually the Duke and Duchess of Kent that do all the Wimbledon yeah. and stuff, rather than Prince Philip, who's got more important sporting events to go and be racist at. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you're a ball by Wimbledon, but I just don't think, don't think Prince Philip often turns up to Wimbledon. He, he, he does. He does, yeah, actually. He told me I was a fun-looking fellow when I was there, so... Yeah, yeah, no, well, that's, that's how I know that, yeah. That's a clincher, though. Um, <laughs> Do you have any, any concept of what particular aspect of your demeanour that he found funny-looking? I, I can answer this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all have a go. We'll start with <laughs> it. I'll take this one. What's funny about my massive head? <laughs> Did you, do you think you frightened the prince with your appearance? Is that... <laughs> he was actually really freaked out. He's frightening right there. <laughs> do you know what? That, that joke works if you don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? I thought you could never look more like a ventriloquist dummy. Do you know <laughs> David, what do you reckon? Yeah, well... Is he telling the truth? What do you think? It could be true because of his face, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! No, wait. no, I don't think... I don't think you're ugly. I just think... Is <laughs> <laughs> that how you really oh, feel? I'm sorry! Oh. I just think that you've got a very unique face. No one will ever forget you. How was he bullied by Jamelia? How did... <laughs> so, David, what's your team deciding here? I, I think it could be true. I don't know. I, I don't trust you. You're a funny-looking fella. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, see that's, 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 that's why you don't detail. trust someone. Yeah. Um, I'm edging towards a lie. Mm. Mm. You're saying it's a lie. Mm. Yeah. Okay, Jimmy Carr. Well, I can tell you, it is a lie. <laughs> 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 The he whole, is an expert bullshitter. Dude, the whole concept behind this show, I love it. Yeah. It's like it's like the bullshitter's Olympics. Yes. That that's what it is. I, I the, love this. I think that's what we're gonna title yeah. it. BS Olympics. Oh my god, man. <laughs> god. Oh mm. man. This is the guy you want when you gotta get through a lie. He'd be like, a good lawyer. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. He looks god. like a lawyer. Yeah. yeah. I bet he uh you got to be a certain level of sharp. Yeah. To to come up with the good bullshit. Mhm. Mm yeah. Man. I I'm sure like mm, he could get anybody, you know, out of anything. Yeah. He could probably get Casey Anthony off of something. Probably. Yeah. Man. God, <laughs> man. Yeah, man, that's funny. Uh as a baby, I was regularly fed coffee in my bottle. <laughs> Lee Max team, what do you make of that? From from birth. I thought you were going to say from your mother's breast. <laughs> <laughs> you were given coffee in the milk. In you got one milky coffee from a very uh, from about the age of three. This is this is not hot coffee, obviously. Yeah, no, it would have been quite warm, warm milky coffee. And when you got older, did you ever say to your parents why did this happen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My children like coffee. Nowadays, you can have what they call a uh, kidicino. A baby chino, baby sorry. Chino. Baby chino, got it wrong, kiddie chino. Actually, a kiddie chino is just a very small pair of trousers. You probably do use them. <laughs> if they were putting coffee in your milk... From no, no, they weren't putting coffee in my milk. I was having coffee. Slightly mil milky coffee. Okay, nice. Well, that is the same as putting coffee in milk. <laughs> Coffee. Between putting coffee in milk and putting milk in coffee. What, what is the distinction? Well, it's like the distinction between having a glass of water and going swimming. <laughs> in, one case, in one case, you're putting water in yourself, and in the other case, you're putting yourself in water. Did they give you other sort of more adult foodstuffs at a very young age? I think I was, I think I was allowed uh, a, a modicum of booze as a, as a child. Oh, were you? <laughs> and what age were you allowed booze? I like as a baby. It was to offset the coffee buzz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, what, what, what were you given as a child? Lee? Evo stick. <laughs> <laughs> That's glue. Yeah, but that was to stop me getting out the cop. <laughs> <laughs> David, uh, as, a, as a small child, what were they bringing you in your quarters? Uh, just a port and a cigar. <laughs> 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 the word 
words out of my self-parodic mouth. <laughs> um, uh, no, the blood of a pheasant. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Did you say pheasant or peasant? <laughs> What are you thinking? Is there any truth in this? No. Which way are you leaning? I don't know. What do you think, guys? I think we're skirting <sighs> on the edge of giving out really bad childcare advice. That, that is true, but I can't help thinking that any parent that's looking at Jimmy and thinking, I want to raise a child like that anyway, <laughs> is a dodgy parent in the first place. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think it's nonsense. I think it's nonsense. Nonsense, OK. I, th I think it's a lie. You think okay. it's a lie? Well, we'll say yeah. it's a lie, then. Pretty conclusively, yeah. it's a lie. Jimmy Carr, were you telling us the truth, then? Or were you telling a lie? I can tell you, it is absolutely true. Ah! Oh. No shit! Wow! 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 Dude! Dude, if, if <coughs> I gave Alexander coffee... Yeah? I wouldn't sleep for a month. No. You probably never sleep at all. I don't sleep like... as it is, but yeah. I couldn't imagine... Oh, my God. Wow. Well, you know, I feel like that takes effect because maybe he was just this meh kid. And the yeah. parents were like, I'm tired of this, having this meh, dark, gray cloud. Let's give him some coffee. And he probably was like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just... but, but you would like that, wouldn't you? Yeah, I was I, I was yeah. able to drink coffee very young. Oh, yeah? My, well, you know, my dad's Colombian. Right, right. Coffee yeah, is... Life. Coffee is life. You know, yeah. and, and so uh, I yeah, think my... around seven, I was drinking coffee. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't until like my 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 mom, my dad remarried uh, my my stepmom, who's from Colombia too. Mm -hmm. Like, and I didn't you know acquire a taste for coffee until then. No, I, no uh, one like. All right, guys, no one likes the taste of fucking coffee. Mm -mm. It's mm -mm. not this. Oh yeah, mm, nectar of the gods. No. No. It's just the battery of the gods. Yeah. It's it, just, it gets it done. Just like alcohol. Nobody likes the taste of no. it. It's the uh, bandage of life, not yeah. the nectar of life. No. A, a bandage of the gods. Yes, bandage of the gods. Yeah, yeah. If coffee is the battery, uh, uh, alcohol, alcohol is the bandage. The bandage. So, yeah. But hey, for this one, I'm giving it two Dude, thumbs up. This was great. Yeah. Oh Jimmy my God. Carr, man. Like, an expert bullshitter. bullshitter. Yeah. I, yeah. man, this was funny, man. I, I enjoyed this. Yeah. Uh, is there more of these? Yeah, let us know in the comments. Because it, sometimes I, I don't like doing compilations a lot because then it takes away the potential for other videos. Right. Because, like, the best <clears throat> clips means you can't watch other things because then you've already seen it. Mm -hmm. You know, but I would be interested to see if this is a real thing. Like, yeah. if this is, like, a, a... It looks like a decent TV show that probably went on for a while. Yeah, It already yeah. had two announcers. Mm -hmm. So that means yeah. it probably so, went on for multiple seasons. Or if it's still going. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah it could be still going. Let's see. Yep. Let us know in the comments. Definitely. Thank you all for liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting the bell, and sharing with your friends. Definitely, guys. And until next time, wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose. And embrace us up. We'll see you all next time. Later.